Well, getting children ready for kindergarten isn't it just about the ABCs and the one, two, threes. The owner of the early years toy store, Chickadee Kids Company in Burlington, Lisa Evans, joins us now with some tips for parents and the little ones too. And it's not, it's more about a routine, getting them into a routine to get into school. Yeah, it's actually a lot more about independence. So a lot of times, you know, parents think it's about academics and making sure that they know uh, how to, you know, the alphabet and how to count to 20. It's not about that at all. It's more about preparing your child to go to school without you. Um, so you are not going to be there to help them through everything in the day. So it's about giving them those skills and the independence to do things on their own. And it's going to be especially tough this year coming out of the pandemic yeah. where parents sometimes have been at home more than they normally would. Yeah. And maybe, maybe the little ones going into kindergarten have had siblings who are at school at home. Yes, exactly. Or they haven't had that preschool experience mm -hmm. that a lot of kids previously have had. Yeah. So you say doing things like like doing up a zipper. Yeah. So getting your backpacks um, early or starting to use the backpacks this week is a really great idea because kids might not know how to open and close their backpacks, their lunch bags, their lunch containers. So we really love this one because it only has one little child uh, friendly latch. This is the munch box. But getting them to practice using all of their supplies, opening and closing those little Ziploc containers containers, all the things that you normally do for them, get them to do it themselves. And we were talking earlier about, you know, and if you're using a Ziploc container, how to make sure that it is really closed. <laughs> yes, make sure that they know how to close it because otherwise you're going to end up with stuff all over the place. Yeah. All right. So some really basics there, even basics like knowing what their name looks like. Exactly. Yeah. So knowing how to spell their name is one thing, but recognizing their name in school because everything is going to be labeled with their name. So even something as simple as writing their name on a piece of paper and sticking it above their door or above their you know coat hook in your hallway just getting them to be able to recognize their name so that they know that when they go into school they can look for their name and know where their spot is and what if they have a really popular name how do you know that you can teach them which their last one would name. you be <laughs> you can teach them their last name too or at least their last initial Okay, yeah. scissor safety, also very important. Scissor skills, your kindergarten teacher is going to love you if you teach your child how to use scissors. And I know parents are sometimes a little nervous about teaching their four-year-old how to use scissors, but it is such an essential skill. They are gonna do so much cutting and pasting in school. Your teacher's gonna love you if your child already knows how to use scissors. Because that's something like, teachers are so overtaxed right yes. now, right? They can't be doing everything for yes. every little classmate. Yeah, and it's just giving them that independence to see a pair of scissors and go, I know how to do this. I know how to use this rather than being kind of uh, afraid of using it, right? Okay. All right, what do we have here? We've got some books that cover kind of like anxiety things. Yeah, so reading books, anytime that you are starting a new process, a new experience, um, it's really important, I think, to read books about that so that you can really talk through any of the fears or insecurities or emotions that come up. Um, you know, we just think of school as being a rite of passage, but for, you know, a four-year-old who's never had that school experience, um, it might be very overwhelming for them or very concerning. They don't know what to expect. So reading books is a great way to show them exactly what to anticipate, what's going to happen, how are they going to make friends. Um, they might be having a lot of emotions about that. So this is a great way to kind of work through those those issues. And getting them to talk through their and issues and, and, through and to realize that, you know, look, other other classmates are, are probably going through the same thing. Yeah, and yeah. getting them excited about it, yeah. right? So there's some kind of funny books that I, that I brought here that are really great to just ramp up that excitement and get them really interested in school. Right, and the number one thing to do is routine. And so we yes. should have had you on about a month ago, probably, <laughs> yeah. because you want to start getting into a routine now. Yes, definitely this week is a great week to start uh, practicing your morning routine. Is uh, Getting ready for school, I think, is can be totally chaotic, um, but once you get that routine established your mornings go by so much smoother so these are just reusable stickers by reward them and they are a great way to practice um, routine and really great visuals for kids because four-year-olds often don't know how to read yet um, so those visuals are a great reminder of everything that they need to do in the morning and they can just refer to the list get everything ready and know what's being expected of them in the routine mm -hmm. so things like you know how long does it take you to brush your teeth yeah. or how long does it take you to to get dressed get your shoes on get ready yeah. Yeah. to get out the door. Exactly, yeah, and practice those things now. Even do run-throughs. Go to the school, walk to the school, or drive to the school. Know how long it's gonna take you because you don't wanna be waking up that first morning going, oh my gosh, uh, you know, and arriving late to the first day. That would just be awful, so. Okay, okay, yeah. so whereabouts is your store located then in Burlington? We are in Burlington at uh, Guelph Line and Upper Middle. Uh, we are at 2178 Mountain Grove Avenue. Okay, and it's Chickadee Kids Company. Yes, 
Okay, some great ideas there and still some stuff available. Definitely, yeah, we still have lots of stock available. We have lots of books, lots of ideas, a lot, few backpacks left. <laughs> and, yeah. and a few really good ideas. I love yeah. the book ideas and, and the little, you know, know what your name is. So, yes. so Lisa, thanks very much. Thank and, you. Uh, and we'll get all that up on our website as well, chch.com. Thanks for joining us today.